What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe. And if you're not new here or you are, just make sure you hit the like button, help support the channel, and it boosts my morale when I make these videos. So uh, today we're gonna be talking about a school incident. You've probably seen this on the news. Uh, this one come out of Texas. It was a, some school resource officers. They ended up pepper spraying, pepper spraying, pepper spraying, and then tasing a couple of the students. And it, it went crazy and viral on the news. It went crazy all over everywhere. People were throwing fits, everybody was mad. They did an investigation and they finally came out with the results of the investigation and that's what we're gonna talk about today. This way, people don't react with emotion uh, whenever they see something happen. Sometimes you have to wait until you get the full story and that's what this channel's about. So let's go ahead, let's just hop into that. Okay, so we're gonna we're not gonna do the video first. We're gonna hop over here to the news article. So Little M, Little Elm officials to investigate tasing a student at protest allegations of sexual harassment. So basically, I'm gonna link this down below if you want to go read the whole thing for yourself. I'm gonna paraphrase it. A student uh, was on Snapchat and made allegations of a sexual assault. They assembled and wanted to do a protest on a Friday, and they were doing the protest. They were trying to break into this office to pursue somebody. So. Anybody in their right mind can think that, hey, if they catch that person, it's probably not going to be good. And so during all this, actually a student spit on one of the officers, and that's actually assault in the state of Texas. Did have him in handcuffs and was walking down the hallway, and that's when the cell phone video starts, and everybody's screaming, everybody's upset, saying the rest of them for no reason, all this, all that. And you know how mom mentality works, and it just spreads and goes through everybody, and then everybody starts acting a fool. They could all have been avoided if people would just... Uh, like mind their own business <laughs> all right so this is the officer right here i believe this is actually a sergeant and he has his taser out probably because everybody's rushing them saying to let this gentleman go who is in handcuffs and there's another officer walking behind him that's out of camera and he's going to come in, in a second. right there there's a gentleman in all white and he grabs the guy and goes to push the officer off but his friend is lawfully detained for breaking the law this is where the problem comes in when people think they're doing the right thing or whenever a high school kid is just trying to be a punk so the other officer steps in pushes him back you know how there's movement somebody can do can do and no matter what language or where you live in the world you know what that movement expresses and what the next thing is going to be the officer pushes him off and he steps back goes to pull up his pants and does this everybody knows what that means and everybody knows what's coming after that he's going to try to fight the officer the officer pulls out his pepper spray probably already have his pepper spray he pulls it up and he sprays the guy and the guy still advances boom pulls up his pants Boom. He still advances on the officer. So, of course, the other officer, which is a sergeant, who's holding the guy in handcuffs, goes to tase him. He gets on the ground, rolling around. He just got tased. So you got a picture. You're in a high school. High school-aged young adults. The majority of them probably have never heard a gun go off. The majority of them probably don't know what a taser is. The majority of them probably don't know what that yellow thing is that the officer's holding. They just heard a pop and a gentleman fall on the ground. People get hysteric. People start screaming. Everybody's freaking out, thinking that an officer just shot somebody. Everybody's saying, you can't do that. The other person's listening to him going, yeah, you can't. So everybody just feeds off each other. So everybody's screaming. Everybody's hysterical. Everybody's freaking out. Everybody's mad. Everybody's everything. So then you have to look at this gentleman right here with the blue jeans and the black jacket right here. This person's on the ground. This officer's going to try to go and handcuff this one. This sergeant right here already has somebody detained and is still holding on to him while he's tasing and doing other things. This gentleman comes up, and you can hear everybody screaming, you can't do that, that's not right, why are you shooting him, why are you doing this? So then people in the back that can't see anything are freaking out, thinking that something's happening when it doesn't need to happen, and it just becomes this big old mess. And so right there... The kid with the black jacket with the long hair got in the sergeant's face. Sergeant's holding this person and holding his taser. And that guy's in his face yelling. The other officer comes up and pushes him back. This guy gets mad, tries to advance again, pointing down, yelling, not helping anyone. Everybody has their phones out. Y'all are wrong. Why are you doing that? Everybody's coming up. 
Everybody wants to make sure that person's okay. And he's like, get off of him, get away. Because at this time, the officer needs to get this person in handcuffs and get him detained. This other gentleman with the long hairs under there being like, are you okay? Are you okay? He has taser prongs inside of him, which the officer is responsible for and has to make sure that those do not harm him any more than needed and gets them out after he gets him detained and in handcuffs. These people don't know that. They're all advancing on the police. Uh, they watch, probably watch the news, and some of them probably don't have respect for police officers and don't really care. They just think officers are out there trying to harm people when we don't know what's behind the scenes. So this is from the article. I'm going to link below. An independent investigation will review the sexual harassment claims that led to the student protest. Last week, Little Elm School officials posted on social media that the protest was a result of inaccurate information. They did not find enough evidence to show that that was true, and they deemed it as false. And the student that came up with those allegations was actually disciplined for moving forward with those allegations because they were deemed untrue. I believe the students responded with emotions. They didn't wait for the full investigation and they wanted to take actions in their own hands, which is not okay. And pretty much if an officer is detaining somebody or doing something like that, don't don't try to attack them. And we just know how mob mentality works. So we're just going to leave it at that. That's going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking out the channel. Greatly appreciate it. Make sure you hit the description. Check out the links below. There are affiliate links to help support the channel because all of these videos get demonetized by YouTube because they don't really like them. So thanks for stopping by, guys. If you want to see any of my other content, make sure you check out the playlist up there. If you want to see the two Bronx officers uh, get shot and then fight a guy and take him into custody, check out that video right there. As always, thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you on the next one.